Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Conversations with Dr. Johnson. Soon we're going to have to crown you. Really? Yes. Why is that? Because the, the, the instructions and advice that you give, well, I'm calling it wisdom, <laughs> is such that you need to be crowned like the doctor of wisdom. I see. This morning in the conversations <laughs> upstairs with my staff, uh, people have been talking to me, oh my God, every time Dr. Johnson speaks, it's like gold or diamonds. Pearls of wisdom. Is that what they call it? Yes. That's why we want to crown you the doctor of wisdom. <laughs> So today we are concluding um, this week's series about the microbiome. So um, you, we've been talking all week about the microbiome. Yes. And you have talked about how important the balance is to our immune system. Can yes. you elaborate more on that as we close this out? Okay. Well, uh, we all have good and bad bacteria in our colon. It's not possible to get rid of all the bad bacteria, nor is it even desirable. Okay. Uh, the bad bacteria can uh, cause uh, illness and sickness if they're present in excessive amounts. Uh, the good bacteria... Yeah, not just excessive amounts, but excessive types of the bad bacteria yes. can also create yes. some real problems. Yes, of course. Like C. difficile. Yes, of course. Which are very dangerous bad ones yes. if they are in overwhelming numbers. Yes, yes. Yes, go ahead, Tari. And our good bacteria perform lots of functions, important functions. They produce some of the vitamins that we need, and uh, they produce uh, energy sources for the human body to, uh, to burn for fuel, uh, especially something called butyrate. Yes. Now, butyrate is a saturated fat, and we've all been taught that saturated fats are bad, and not only is that nonsense, that's dangerous nonsense. Every cell in our body uh, has a miniature brain that regulates it. The overall body has this big brain up here, but then every cell in your body has a miniature brain uh, to regulate cell function. And that miniature, miniature brain is called the membrane. Yeah, okay? the membrane. Yeah. About 50% of our cell membrane has to be made of saturated fats. Wow. So they're good saturated fats, they're bad saturated fats. Interesting. So um, how could we... Uh, are there nutrients to supplement us with this butyric acid? Well, uh, you, can, you can get a supplement, but it's actually uh, healthier uh, to feed your good bacteria so, they so can that they produce. can do their job. And, and how do I feed my good bacteria? You, you make those bacteria sound like they are our friends. Well, they are. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, oh, we, our brothers, actually. Yes. There you go. They're yes. part of our tribe. Yeah, they're part <laughs> of our tribe. So how do we feed these little guys? We feed them by eating fiber. Wow. So if you don't have fiber, if you don't have fiber in your diet, that's tough, right? Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're toast. Yes. And we know that um, the issues of uh, gut health is really a big issue because it shows up in things like constipation and diarrhea at the extremes. Well, right? sure, and it uh, it plays a massive role in our immune system. Yes. And it plays a very significant role in helping our brain up here to function as it should. Yeah, well, I was going to go into that a bit. Um, so yesterday you were saying leaky brain. So when Leaky gut. Leaky gut. Oh, yeah. sorry, I was going to the end point. <laughs> Uh, they say leaky gut, leaky brain. Have you heard that? Uh, that they say the, the inflammatory materials that escape into the bloodstream go into the brain and cause inflammation. Is, is that correct? Well, yes, that is correct. I've never heard it called leaky brain. But, okay. but yes, that is correct. Uh, that, that's what we call liberals. They have a leaky brain. <laughs> <laughs> No, you were not supposed to comment on that. Yeah, that, that was uh, our private joke. And so, um, so how does one cure leaky gut? Well, uh, leaky gut is most easily cured with a supplement called Glutashield. Yes, we showed that yesterday. Yes, combined with a, an FSM series of treatments, frequency-specific microcurrent. Our very popular energy treatment that we have here at the clinic. Uh, that cannot be delivered digitally. You have to come and see us <laughs> to have that specific treatment. I'll be good, receiving one today myself. So thank you, doctor, about this overview of the microbiome. 
So we are going to introduce uh, our brand ambassador now again, Una. Una has been spending some time with us here today at the clinic. Come on, Una. Uh, stand in between. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to call you yeah, the beauty and the, the, the beast. Uh, <laughs> no, the beauty and the beast. Okay. I, I don't mind being the God. beast. Okay, well, so whatever. are we beauties? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he loves like... that difference. Got it. I just want to yeah. make sure I get it. <laughs> he doesn't want me to classify him as a beast with me. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'm I'm afraid our viewers may not be able to see you. You're in camouflage today. I know. <laughs> yes. I uh, just came out from my military exercises, uh, 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 dampening the enthusiasm of the liberals, hitting them where it matters. Okay. So, Una, wow, yes. you smile like a real liberal there. Thank you so much. Yeah. You told me last time that, you, that I have liberal tendencies. I you know. Yeah. Even when we took your blood today, we saw some, yeah, liberal, saw some liberal cells inside. I didn't, I didn't know how to break it down to you. Yeah, so talk to us. How, how did you come about? How you, you, you had a conversation with the doc about the test. So, uh, doc, talk to her. What was the test she did and why is she doing this? Well, we did uh, Boston Heart Health. Yes. Uh, this particular panel of tests delves incredibly deeply into all of the possible risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Okay. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's more detailed than any test on the market that I'm aware of. Why should that everyone possibly take that test as a baseline? Well, uh, the number one killer in the United States is what? Cardiovascular disease, Correct. heart attacks and strokes. Yes. And so almost all of us are susceptible to that to some degree, yes. depending on a little bit as genetics, but it's mostly diet and lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. Very yeah. important. Yeah. So, and, and what was your experience about uh, uh, participating and how much did you know about this test before you took it? I knew absolutely nothing about it. Um, until I took it, yes. excuse me, and I love that it's so detailed. And back to the heart thing, I have a um, as a kid, I had a heart murmur. Yeah. So I thought that was perfect just to see like details to see if it's still a thing, if it exists, yes. if it doesn't. Do, do you have history of uh, cardiometabolic issues in your family? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So because family history is very important. Yeah. Uh, so going back to Dr. Johnson, so. Um, you said diet and lifestyle. Yes. Yeah, I, I never extract diet out of lifestyle. I think diet is part of lifestyle. But so lifestyle contributes well, it, almost 60 to 70%. Yeah. Or uh, more? Only about 5 to 10% of the bad things that happen to us health-wise yes, are genetic. genetic. Oh, wow. So it's 95%. The rest is diet and lifestyle. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and yes, diet is part of lifestyle. You're absolutely correct. However, most people look at it as diet is one thing, lifestyle, your exercise, yeah, you whether sleep. or not you smoke, your yeah. sleep. They, they tend to look at it as two Sip. separate. So okay. I'm trying to speak the language of the people. All right, okay. <laughs> because in the clinic here, when we talk about lifestyle, we include diet, we include nutrition. I mean, uh, what we call nutritional biochemistry as our diet conversation. We include uh, environment, we include emotions, and we include exercise and totally. all of that in totally. what we call well-being yes. totally. as a complete set. So talk to us about the experience of giving your very precious uh, European blood. Thank you. It was. It looked really nice when it was. When you mean it was, the blood? The blood, yes. It was really a nice color. You think we should be selling that? Blood? I think it's worth a lot of money. Uh, you think? <laughs> I thought you know. I do know. So okay. I, mean, I was just answering your question. Yes. Um, so it, it was honestly really. Easy. Uh, we, we need to be careful how we ship that blood please, because please, can you we, make we, sure we, you... we don't want the UPS people drinking that blood on the way. Yeah. 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 But just... anyway, it's sealed in. In dry eyes. It's really important for and me. And protected. Please, yeah, thank don't you so worry. Much. Thank if, you. If, it, goes, I was if, a if it goes missing, we'll send the oh, FBI no, no. CIA Please. after that blood. Precious cargo. Yeah, yes. precious cargo. Yes, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It travels first class, actually. Please, that's all I can do. All right, <laughs> so you. how was it? Were it, you, it like, was... scared? Uh, honestly, no, it was it was effortless. It was just like, it, I think we did six tubes. It yes. wasn't anything major. At first, I was like, oh my goodness, how many tubes? It's so yes. many different 
Uh, and like you thought if they took all this blood, you'd be dizzy. Yeah, but no, it was, right. it, was, it was super easy, super simple. Wonderful. So, so the blood is going to go away for analysis to the lab, and it's going to come back, and we're going to have a very detailed session we're yes. going to run yes. uh, with Dr. Johnson reviewing uh, your labs. Yes. And then there'll be another session where he then makes recommendations out of that review. I love it. So you can educate your audience and right. yourself in the process. Totally. I love right. it. So thank you for participating you. today. And Dr. Johnson is driving back to the desert. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going back to the land of. I'm going back to paradise. To paradise, oh, yes. Nice. The land of milk and honey. I love it. <laughs> the desert. I right? love it. Uh, so thank you. It's been a beautiful week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for liking us. Uh, I know we're not as pretty as Una, but that's why we have Una, so you can follow <laughs> us also. Thank Aww. you. And thank you, Una. Thank you and thank you, Dr. Johnson. My pleasure. All right. Thanks.